Oh, it's starting. What's up, everybody? Calvin Bowie of FK and Deliciousness. They also call me Captain Charisma. I'm with my boy. Oscar. This is where you say that your name, was, uh, dude. That was my cue. Oh, dude. <laughs> this is where you say your name. I've never been in, uh, on TV, so I don't know. You're not on TV, Oscar. you're on YouTube. Oscar. Okay, you're Oscar. Oscar and I have never met before. Oscar reached out to me on Instagram and said, I'd like to be your co-host. I sure. said, Oscar, I'm down. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I mean, you're fine. I, I, we will just uh, talk about that. I mean, I watch your videos before. I, I, I watch uh, all the, the food reviews that you do, and it's like fun. And I was like, dude, when you when you uh, say that you have a couple slots, I'm like, that's me. I'm glad I had insomnia that night. Because I post in Vietnam time. I post in Vietnam late night, which is, uh, but the bottom line is that I post on opposite hours. So that's where you saw it at. Yeah, that's where I saw it. Kay. And I was awake, it was like 3 a.m. here, something like that. We are at, hold on, Puerto Alegre. <coughs> right? Alegre. Alegre. What does Puerto Alegre mean? Uh, happy, happy port. <laughs> that is the most horrible conversation I've <laughs> ever had, that dude. That was awkward. So you said, like, oh, it means like happiness in the port. No, it's happy port. But like a port, like Puerto. Like puerto. a port with, with ships, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah, Puerto, Puerto, uh, like, with the ships, do, ships on land, ships like what, well, dock, whatever. Sheep or ships? What's the difference, Calvin? I'm, Sheeps I'm, have fur, a ship is what's in the water. That's the second one. <laughs> <laughs> We've been drinking some great margaritas. What margarita is this? This is a Hornitos margarita. This is a um, lime margarita on okay. the rocks. On the rocks. And it is just lime juice, tequila, and uh, triple sec. Triple sec, right? Yeah. None of that pre mixed stuff. This is like the no, fresh. This is, this is uh, fresh quiz. Yeah. Uh, what is Puerto Alegre known for? Well, first of all, it's family owned. It's, I am so happy that they served again. Are you ready to do bottoms up? <laughs> Huh? Bottoms up? It's too much ice. So can we? Uh, let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Let's try. Don't, don't twist my arm. Let's okay, try. Okay, there we go. Oh, oops. I can see this. That's it. I can see this next 40 minutes. It's going to be super, super fun. It's, <clears throat> it's going to go fast. It is. Okay. Tell me what is the specialty of Puerto Alegre? Alegre. Alegre, 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 Alegre. There are two dishes that they are very proud of. They, all the food is amazing, like I was mentioning, it's uh, family owned. Okay. They survived the pandemic, and which I'm so thankful for. And this is Pozole Verde. Okay. Pozole Verde. I wait, have... wait, I gotta turn the camera around. Hold on. One, two, three. Okay. Pozole, pozole verde. Verde. So usually people know the pozole as a pozole rojo or mm -hmm. pozole blanco. Okay. And usually it's the choice of. Oh, uh, harmony. Uh, yeah. Oh, I miss harmony, dude. So usually it's uh, you have to choose between chicken or pork. Okay. And uh, this and is red or white, mm -hmm. and this one is not. This is green, which is you don't even Mexico find it. And for me, I like it because back home in my, my home state, Michoacan, we have two dishes, which is the atole de grano, and which is the pozolillo, which is pozole with, with sweet corn. Mm -hmm. And both are green, but because they have poblano pepper. And this is like the atolillo. The marriage? And, uh, they, 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 they make love and they- They make they, love they, and they don't use a condom. And they, <laughs> and they have pozole verde. But also, the, the other, other difference is that this one has a mix of all the meats mm. and also has bacon. Oh, and nothing, nothing bacon. goes wrong with bacon. Okay. The green comes from what? From the tomatillo and the uh, poblano pepper. Okay, so poblano pepper and tomatillo roasted and then they blend it? Or uh, is it the, or they don't roast it? They do, they, do, they do mix it with the broth. Okay. Because they, they do the broth and they all do the mixing with the, with the poblano pepper. And Are you sure? I am make, making up that. But, <laughs> but, but since I cook, I can assume they do that. Okay. They have a little bit of shredded lettuce, 
lime wedges and radishes and this is going to for me I top so for me I like the purest I do the uh, pozole in a bowl and then I I nibble on this on the side oh my god that's so I'm so different. Bigger. That's I'm so a very bigger. different. I'm so good. Okay. Then we have the. So then we have also the chile verde, which is pork in our poblano green. Uh, this is, I'm sure, is poblano green. Uh, green uh, picante salsa. Okay. Which we, with the Mexican rice and um, refried beans. But these ones, when they posted as, the, as their um, favorite dish, I told them no. When I posted on Facebook, I told them no, the pozole verde is your favorite, it's the best dish that you have. Mm. And they challenged me to come and try them both at the same time and then decide which one is better. So here we are. That's why I, I told you, this is the winning. I oh, because we have, we, have to, we have to let them know. Well, I, I gotta say this this picture of margarita is they just gone. I know. And th they do not they do not pour lightly here. They do pour heavy. Oh yeah. Oh no, and they also what well, Puerto Lady is, is very well known. Oh um, uh, oh are we are we bottom solve here? Yes. Yes. Okay. This okay. is gonna be a fun night. This is gonna be fun. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna split this together. Yes. There are some corn tortillas in there. I will here. scoop you some of this up. And so previous or prior to us hitting the record button, we were talking about San Francisco, we're talking about life. And so I think for the next 42 minutes, we're gonna be pretty raw about what we see yes, life like. Yeah. How we see San Francisco, a, a place that we call home, and I've called home for so many years. And it's not the same as it used to be. You know, you came here in 09, and I left in 09. Correct. And the mission, so this is the missionary, this, this is Valencia? Valencia Street. Valencia huh? Street. You know what you just call it Valencia, right? Valencia. Valencia. Well, well, if you're from Spain, you will come to Valencia. 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 Um, this used to be a street that wasn't as popular as oh, no. Mission. This is the street that was cheaper in rent. Now. It was empty. There were not that many restaurants in the street. And now? Now is, is, it, is it the hot? Would you consider Valencia Street the hot spot of? Is the hot spot of the like the, is the restaurant area in San Francisco? Why don't I only have one school. Oh, yours? Okay, it's the restaurant area. It's uh, is, the is there any Michelin rated restaurants out here? Uh, no, but there's uh, there is one um, Japanese restaurant that is gonna pop up in uh, one of these places. And I just read that today. It's mm -hmm. uh, it's called SUNY San Francisco. SUNY San Francisco, okay. And it's going to pop up somewhere here. And they are Michelin rated Star Wars. Oh, they're Michelin rated. Yeah. They, are Michelin, one, they have one star, but they are Michelin. Yeah. I, before like anything happens, can you call them for one more margarita? Yes. You know, I'm from Vietnam, right? I would just literally yell out to them right now, one more margarita, and so they would come. But because we're in California now, because we're in San Francisco, and no one knows who the hell I am, I have to be very kind to people. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. I have to be kind. I I have, I have to be uh, aware of their feelings. I can I can understand that because I mean I'm Mexican and I I've been in Mexico and I. Are you sure you're Mexican? I, I don't know. After after trying the the, the salsa picante and. That's not even picante. This this is this is this, this thing is literally that's sweet spicy. sweet tomatoes, dude. <clears throat> that's not sweet tomato. That's spicy. It's funny when we got in, they gave us chicken salsa, and I remember Puerto Alegre from the days that I used to be here. Um, I was just digging in on the chips and salsa. I was just digging in. I'm like, dude, 15 years in the making that I haven't had this. And he has one bite. Oscar has one bite. He goes, oh, picante. And I was, is it spicy? It is not spicy, dude. All, all my Americans say that. I am not a Mexican, but I am Mexican. I what am What do you think is spicy? Okay. On a level of 1 to 10, what is a jalapeno? A jalapeno in a can, to make it easy for you. Well, it depends. If you buy it here in the States, it, they are sweet. Okay. Because but, they have sugar. Yeah. But if you buy the same kind from the same brand in Mexico, I cannot take it. Okay. I guess a habanero to you. Oh no, 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 no that's, like, too, that's too that's too much. Have you tried it before? I don't. You don't? <laughs> okay. I have I've tried. I tried um because I have, 
going back that um, we were supposed to have uh, uh, coming up, uh, food from Yucatan today. Yes, we're we supposed to have Yucatan food today, but, but they don't serve alcohol there. And if you guys know our show, we can't sit around sober and no. eating. <laughs> no. So. So, and I didn't know that because I was taken out. So I didn't know that they didn't serve alcohol. Or maybe I went when I felt healthy. I don't know. So um, anyway, they uh, uh, the food from Yucatan, they always have to have habanero. Mm -hmm. now, oh, always? Oh, yeah, they love habanero. You know, my grandmother, my grandmother, abuela, my, my abuela from my mom's side, mm. she used to slice the habaneros and then uh, white onion uh -huh. and then put salt, salt sea salt and, yeah, and, and this, what, a squeeze a lime yeah. and she would just uh, eat it like this. Like potato chips? Yeah. And with a beer. And, and, and it was like, when is she going to burn? Like, what, what? why is she not, she will not complain. That's the first time I remember as a child I tried mm. habanero. And I realized that was not my thing. I, I think I cried. I think Did I you cry? cry? I, I've had Hubbard over before. I've had it straight up. And it's it's not, I don't understand. Have you like, like. Yeah, yeah. You know? well somebody, somebody hit it in an enchilada. Oh. Somebody sliced it up. You know who you are. Stuck in an ench enchilada. That's bad. I was sitting there talking like, oh, I'm loving life. And I bit into it and it ruined my night so much, huh? Oh, that's happiness. Uh, Can we have glasses? more glasses? Yes. Sí. Please. Sí. Sí. And sí. Uh, when I'm in the mission, or when I'm in the mission, my, my Spanish gets so much better. C sí and C sí means yes. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, yes, so I'm gonna put it in my enchilada and I ate it. And I'm like, that's. I literally. That's a good prank, though. It's a good prank. I mean. But never do that to me. No, I put money down and, and I drove home. I remember like... Are you drove after that? Oh, after crying I remember, hours? I remember how the feeling of it. I mean, it's not only like just warm, but your whole body becomes flush. You become cold and you don't even know what's going on anymore. Okay, how do we save what's little in my glass and get the eyes out? <laughs> oh my God, it's I tried to get it, but I couldn't get it. No, no, no. no. Okay, can I ask you a few questions? We're doing a show right now. Okay, how long has Porte Alegre been around for? Oh, when, cuando este oh, Puerto oh. Alegre aquí in San Francisco? Um, that is like 80% close to what I'm supposed to say. 1970. 1970? Oh my god, so yeah. it's older than me. 1970 with the same family. Really? I told you, it's family owned. So, same space? Aquí, all, same, all time? No. I think, same. Right, I think. Do they live here? Do they live upstairs? Uh -huh. oh, they're upstairs. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's amazing. Do you still see them around? No, me, the Willie. Yeah. Uh, and uh, the brother Lorenzo and Patty, the manager is here and lives here. Really? Wow. The same. The same building. <laughs> That's that. I didn't know that. That's now I know that. Son, uh, son 40, 51. 51. 51 sí. is 51 years. 51 years. No, wow. actually, I, I didn't know that. I, I, I just I just <laughs> said whatever whatever he said. I just 51 years. <laughs> and I just realized that I didn't know that. I know they were family owned. Yeah. But I didn't even make me love more this place because I. Oh, let me tell you the story why of this place. Please, because we haven't eaten a single bite yet. <laughs> okay. You want to try it? I want, I want, All right. I want your honest let's, opinion. Okay, I'm let's, not let's, gonna put any garbage. So I, I, I have chicken, I have pork, and I have hominy. And can you explain to the audience what is hominy? Uh, it's corn. What corn though? I don't. I don't. I don't put it. You are such a. Ah, you are such a non-resident. How many is white corn that's been dried and it's rehydrated in a canned version? Come on, I man. I can't say it better. <laughs> the corn you yeah. can't say it better. I'm gonna get a big hunk of pork because, oh. to me, that's everything. I have bacon and pork. Mm. Yeah, definitely. There's some tomato there. I can taste the tomato. This is the most different and unique and most delicious pozole that you can try. Okay. Why? Why? <laughs> because that, because that, because as a Mexican, I'm used to that the flavor of the red or the white pozole. Yeah. True. Which are the are typical pozole. True. Which are good and delicious. True. But when I first try, okay, again. Okay. Yes, again. <laughs> you see my show, right? All we all do is drink. 
when I first tried this, which they didn't come out with this until like seven years ago, if I'm not wrong. Because I've been coming, this is the first restaurant I came into San Francisco. So from Denver, Colorado, you came to Puerto Alegre. Well, not directly to Puerto Alegre, but I arrived in SFO. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, this guy got jokes today. Okay, <laughs> but, good thing you <laughs> Um, but yeah, um, the first uh, the first time I could uh, let me say let me put it this way the first time I could afford. To, oh, to, uh, yeah, that uh, that's the moment that you can play the violin. Well, because I I, I came uh, jobless and uh, on uh, well I still working at a restaurant immediately. But I'm telling you, I'm gonna the first time I could afford a restaurant was like three days after I was waiting tables. So <laughs> because so. you make at a good restaurant, you could make back then. But and let me tell you something. I used to work at a tea lounge. A tea not, lounge. Not even a re, not even a restaurant. A tea lounge. A tea lounge. A very fancy tea lounge. So they do the they, they do the uh, oh, the, a masala chai. It was eight dollars back then. It was like a, a one cup masala okay. chai, one which cup. is just water and tea leaves, and water's free. It was eight dollars back then. Back then, we have. What's it now? I, I think they, they, they don't exist anymore. Okay, uh, continue on. So, so anyway, the, 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 uh, the first time I said like, oh, I'm gonna go to, because of course, after years of living in the States, I wanted Mexican food. Mm. And I always want Mexican food. I never get tired of Mexican food. So uh, a good friend of mine, I know, uh, uh, a long-term friend of mine brought me here. And I have like, tried try the, the margaritas, I'm like, I'm from here. <laughs> because also they have different platters. They have different platters that, that you can have one chile relleno, one tamal, one enchilada. So you get to the taste of everything. Yeah. And it's, it's the most authentic uh, uh, to, to the real, to the real. Most authentic flavors. Flavors. But to the, to do the, they do chili relleno in Mexico they City? They do. The, uh, Mexico City or here? Here they do. Here in Mexico. In Mexico, yeah. They take the poblano, they, they roast it, they put cheese in it, but they don't. Yeah, they, but the cheese really they put really in there is. And we is, have different different kinds. We yeah. have capeados, which is with the egg, with the egg. Um, oh, I don't know that one. What, do, what, what cheese do I know? In, in and then we have the the chile nogada, which is from Puebla state. What's, what's that? A chile nogada. I I I will have to Google that to tell to tell you in English because that's the most. I think <laughs> so. I, I'm I'm still in town for a while. I think, I think Oscar good. and I are going to do a series together. We're going to go I to every Mexican restaurant to in town. <laughs> we might do a ten part series, and we're going to eat the oh. some best of best Mexican. Let's uh, talk about the broth and the flavor, right? So when you eat a pozole, pozole, for me it's always about like the the pork bones just cooked down. And you get all of that like porky goodness, all of the um, damn it. We had to make we had too much margaritas today. Uh, I forgot marrow. Damn it! Marrow. Yeah. <laughs> you have all the marrow. You have all the and fat. And I saw an episode of you eating marrow. <laughs> yes, you marrow. have all the fat. You have you know the pork just cooks down. You put onions in there. Uh, for me, when I make stock, I do onion, celery, and carrots. But I don't know in Mexico. What do you guys do to make that that stock? Well, uh, the broth you do it with the meat. Yes. I mean, yeah. before before you make the broth. But is it just meat, water, salt, salt and onions? And do, onion. you, uh -huh. do you add any celery, carrots? Do you add sweetness? <clears throat> you can add a pasote, which is a leaf. Pasote. A pasote. A pasote. It's a, it's a leaf. I, uh, I I miss America so much. I think it, it depends. It depends on the region. You mm. can either either use uh, um, cilantro. I forgot the name. Cilantro. <laughs> cilantro. <laughs> uh, but this broth is is it super complex? There's a little bit of a bite at the very end, back of your throat. Try it. There's a little bit of chili in there, but. It's, it's a very clean flavor. You know, this is not something that's going to be overbearing. It's very clean. You get to taste every single ingredient inside this soup. And in my personal opinion, usually, usually for, uh, for sole has more garnish because mm. uh, there's onion missing. Uh, there is uh, 
Oh my god, what is my English today? Too many margaritas. Cilantro, onion, there, uh, yeah. there are limes, but you should do the hot sauce on the table that you put the hot sauce in. But usually, usually there are more garnishes to add and you are end up with a garlic. Yeah. This one, because the broth is usually just a plain broth. Yeah. But this broth is so complex and the, the, the combination of so many meats that makes it so rich and so flavorful that I do not feel like ruining it. Mm. Adding anything. I will say this. Let's see if you agree. Have you ever been to Tijuana? Yes. Have you been to Tijuana at 6 in the morning after a long night? Say yes. I, say yes. I, 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 say yes. I, no, I, 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 the thing is, that if you bring me back there, I'll be, the yes, re- I have. The I reason have. why is because when you have menudo, Early oh. in the morning, oh. early in the oh, morning, yeah. after a night of drinking in Tijuana oh, on yeah. Revolutionary, <laughs> on Revolutionary Boulevard, and you made it through that three to six a.m. period because that that's the most sketchiest time, and the air is crisp, it's almost chilly, and you eat a bowl of okay. soup. Okay. To me, you okay, take okay? yes. Do I uh, oh yeah, yeah. yes. Okay. Can I somehow pour my um, You taste this. You taste this soup. Cheers. Oh, cheers. You taste this soup that is like. It's not only comforting, but it it's like. It holds you. And it says. But it's. It, but it's that, that's traditional in, in, in everyone in Mexico. You said Vietnam. You said Vietnam. You said Vietnam. <laughs> See? That is the influence. It's the influence here. But it's. Yeah, I mean, you go party hard all night and you made it until six, because most people do it, I've been told, uh, because the menu was just Shut up, dude. You want to end up, you want to end up at six in the morning. Say you didn't answer? You said it didn't answer? Yeah. <laughs> Those times, yeah. Because that was the only place that... Uh, Are they still around? I don't know. Really? I don't know. Because do you remember uh, this bar was a Club 500? Yeah, the food that, what is Club 500 used to serve beers to everybody at 5 in the morning. It was just in the it morning. Was, it was the only place. It was the only place. It is a dive. It's at the corner. It was so divey. It is like... But the people people line up, especially alcoholics. Not saying we're alcoholics, but people who are alcoholics, who some can't people, sleep, some people who are. shake a lot. And, and all props to them. I'm cool. I'm, I'm, I'm woke. They would start drinking at the crack of dawn, and then they would take a nap at noon, and they would serve all morning to all night into the last call. Five hundred, dude. That is five hundred. Yeah. Is it still around? Like, uh, that one, yes. That one still. It's right around the corner here. A couple of blocks. This, this Dolores. Is, uh, this is sixteen. No, is it, no. Then it was. Oh no, yeah, it's 16, right yeah. here on 16th Street. But it's on Dolores though, right? Oh, uh, it's up, way it's up one, it's up, up one. Up to, uh uh-huh. up to Dolores Street. You gotta be a crackhead. You gotta literally but be dropping. Was, but, but, but tell them why, because <laughs> at, at, the, at the end of, they didn't sell alcohol. <laughs> yeah, but they had but, music though, they had Miguel Mix. But you have to, you have to, cha- you, you have to charge um, and get your vitamins at the Club 500. <laughs> he says so, so you, you will, you will go and reach, uh, you will continue at the 500, so you will not care, not drinking at, uh, at the end of. But there's no music at the at 500, is there? I can't remember. It, it, oh, it's, it's, were, been, it's been 15 years since I've been to the uh, there, was, there, was, there was music. I don't remember. I don't remember because I've never been there sober. I've been told. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to know Oscar in this video because this is, this is all about him. Oscar, where are you from? Thank you for uh, cutting me. Um, having a spoonful. Put your glasses on. Put your glasses on. No, yes. this, is my, this is my grandpa yeah. classes to read. Oh. I am uh, original from Morelia. Morelia. Morelia, which is the capital state of Michoacan. Michoacan. In Mexico. Where is Michoacan? North side? No, it's um, central Mexico. It's on um, central, but it's on the west. Two hours from, this Mexico one from is two hours from Guadalajara. I said that because we're familiar with it. Yeah, I know, I know Guadalajara. Oh. All my cooks in uh, my old restaurant were Guadalajara. What is the cuisine like in Mocheca? Oh, oh my god. And it's not BS. 
is one of the most complex cuisines in the entire, uh, one of the few states that have the most complex cuisine because all the cultures that live in, uh, in the states. Who wants to see me and Oscar go on a road trip oh to Mexico? Oh my God, that would from be, city that, to yeah. city. <laughs> that would be amazing because, I mean, just the food experience in Mexico is oh, amazing. By the way, I'm done. You're done? Yeah. Right. See, he did it to me earlier, but he doesn't realize that I drink really well. Uh, I drink very well too. That's what he says. <laughs> come on, come on. Um, okay, so okay, let me put on every. Uh, I'll, I'll ask a question right now. In Mexico, and and we've been out there before, but we only been to like DF. We only to the Mexico City. Um, there's oh, very oh, regional yeah. cuisine, right? In every regional cuisine, so some. So we always say, oh, you can't do flour tortillas. Well. In the north side, it's from the north. they do flour tortillas. Oh, we uh, we only use these these chilies. Well, in this region, they use these chilies. To me, Mexican food is always about something that's super savory. I will tell you those two signature foods from from my state. Okay, here we go. And you'll never hear about them. Okay, uchepos, uchepos, which is a sweet corn a tamal. So. They use sweet corn, they pound it out and make the outside of the tamal. What do they stuff it with? It's not stuffed. The chepos are not stuffed. It's not stuffed? It's not stuffed. They are actually skinny. And they are covered in a tomato sauce, not spicy, or can be spicy, with sour cream. And Interesting, because crema is not, a, is, is not something that you see a lot of outside of like gringo bastard food. No, we do. We do. Crema is different than sour cream. You said sour crema. cream. No, I, well, because I thought most people, but my whole family, with me, crema mexicana is different. You know? No, crema mexicana is it's different. different. Crema, crema mexicana is almost like I'm a creme fresh. Spanish to English. You, right? you gotta do it. I, 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 I've been waiting for this moment. <laughs> okay, you ready to do it? Let's do it again. <laughs> <laughs> if you're watching right now, you're drinking margaritas. You better okay, drink the whole I, thing. I hope my mom never watches this. Mom, I don't drink this much. Para, oh, para, that's four. Para, para, con Calvin, oh. with Calvin. With Calvin, con Calvin. Okay. So, you do a sweet corn tamal, not stuffed, not and they do, a, they do a salsa roja, or, or something. It's it, it served, it served, the salsa, it depends. It can be as complex as have for, um, most of all spices. Red tomato, uh, tomato, tomato sauce can be spicy or not spicy with, uh, with uh, poblano pepper um, stripes or in with pork. Okay. okay. That can be that complex or just a, a tomato sauce on top with uh, crema mexicana and, and cheese. Okay. Uh, queso. Queso. It's not mozzarella, it's not cheddar, it's not American cheese, it's queso, queso fresco. fresco. Queso, queso fresco, fresco is it's something completely thing. different. Okay. What's the second dish? From your, from your area. Well, that's that, and then the corundas. The corundas, that's a different game. That's, I don't know, I don't know. What the it's fuck, is, what the fuck are the corundas, it's dude? Corundas are like triangles, like, and you know what, in Asia, somewhere in Asia, they have something similar, because we don't have it here in the States. Give me my fork. I know. Oh, I, I just took my fork. fork there. Okay. So, I'm going to jump them into the uh, chili, chili or the, the chili verde, chili verde, which is which oh, is we have, we have, like, pork shoulder cooked down in poblano chilies and spices. This is something that I used to always love to eat. Uh, and in we Mexico. have cold tortillas now. Yes. Guys, remember that I haven't been back to America in 12 years. I haven't been back to San Francisco in 15. So wow. this to me right now is a walk down memory lane to sit there with a friend. Uh, you've been here before, you told me. I have been here before. To, uh, to I, Puerto Alegre. I, I, I've been here before. They make so the best know, margaritas. They, to, they have great salsas. But I haven't been here in 15 years, dude. I, wow. sm I, I smell the corn tortilla. I was 12. You to be, shut up. <laughs> shut up. You are not, you are not young than me. You know you're yeah, not young than me. When I saw that you're, wow, that was your birthday recently, and I was like, oh, and you were like, oh, so, so happy, you were 43. I'm like, shit, man. <laughs> if I'm not, I'm older. I'm like, oh, yeah. Oscar looks young, which is great. Um, the chili verde, pork cooked down, 
You don't trim the fat. The fat is part of the sauce. To me, it's very earthy. These are flavors that aren't super hard to understand. You eat it, and you're just like, the pork melts in your mouth. The, the fresh corn tortillas does so much to it because you want that. And I'm gonna cry right now. This is seriously what I've been missing for so long. And this is not difficult to make. Yeah, there's a few steps and a few ingredients that you might not find in all of America. But if you can find it, this is just a stew, a braise that's been going on for eight hours. Mm -hmm. Pork that's super cheap, cut into small pieces, braised in a very loving sauce. Oh, well, the it, sauce is amazing. The sauce is amazing. The, the, the flavor and the, the consistency is amazing. Because I mean, you know, you know with pork, pork meat, it's, say more, say eat. Say more, say more, go ahead. Pork, pork meat is a certain extent sticky, a little bit tasteless. Yeah, and it's about, but it's, it's it's very. I love cooking pork because it's, it's when you prove that you can cook because you can ruin it very easily. But it's also how, you, what do you make with that? Like if you, how do you cook it? And if you're gonna make a sauce. You can either ruin the flavor or you can bring up the flavor. Are you okay? Yeah. I am. <laughs> we haven't talked about the, the second dish in your hometown yet. Oh, the corundas. The corundas. The corundas are... <laughs> this guy has no clue <laughs> what, he, what he got into. I have the feeling I'm going to crawl back home. No, you won't. Of I'm not going to be even sober to, to no, you enough to, to call that an Uber. Okay. Here is, if you're good, take your old drink and your new drink and you pour it in because you don't want to lose any of that margarita goodness. That's, that's like a 2 a.m. in the bar. <laughs> Wait, is, is, is last cost at 2 a.m. here? It's still. Come on. Is 10 15 still here? Who? Ruby Sky, 10 15. Ruby Sky Thief Steel. Okay. What was the other one? Tepatin. Crackhead Crackheadville. Oh. I don't know that one. Uh Tepatin Folsom. I don't know if, I don't know if Ruby Sky. I mean I don't know how many places we open after mm. so I'm meeting Ruby Sky. We were talking in a conversation earlier about all the restaurants that you know I used to know that I also used to know and a lot of them are gone now. You know, so for for certain example, foreign cinema, if you guys Google it, was you would walk into a very narrow alley, right? And then it would open, and it would open, open up, up into a place that would 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 play all of these old black and white movies, movies on the wall. On the wall. But they, they also have a lot, a lot like an, because that wasn't the outdoor the outdoor, outdoor area. There was a bar area, uh -huh, yeah. and they served. At that time, very modern French cooking. It was amazing. The food was amazing. Amazing. I it mean, was pricey. Yes. Yes. But it was. But it I was mean, you're gonna pay the price. But even at but that the experience, time, it the was experience, experience. To sit there and to watch an old Humphrey Bogart movie. Oh yeah. To watch an old Fred Astaire movie, and to eat modern French cooking. And it wasn't like, you know, tiny little bites. No, no, no. no they, you, they, they gave you. The, the, if portions, it was a, the portions were very portions generous. Were very generous. Yeah. You know, if you had a pork chop, it would be a bone in pork chop. If it was a uh, duck breast, it would be a, 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 a Muscovy duck breast sliced, but it was perfectly medium yeah, rare. Yeah, it was, it was very good. So. You would pay uh, 28 to $37 per entree, but you got to get an appetizer and a dessert to kind of fill it and all out. Yeah, and drink. So you're looking at probably 120, 130 for an experience. Now, what would San Francisco be like if I wanted to have an experience? Oh no, 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 no. Uh, right in San Francisco, right now in San Francisco, and I am, I, I, I eat out uh, often, and I, no, I'm talking about fancy places. D don't uh, show off. You're, you're, don't show off. 
but you eat at fancy places. I don't. I say that I don't. Uh, so just to go out and say like, oh, okay, I'm gonna have dinner and drink, or a, a dinner in a in a couple of beers. You can spend less than sixty two dollars, sixty five dollars. And I'm telling you because I just went with my good friend the other day to, to just to have sushi uh, next door. Actually, did you get full of the sushi, or was it just like it was it Philly? We're like, oh, this is so much. Or was it like, I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna get a burrito and I'm gonna sleep. Uh, it's more like um, okay. Uh, it was good. It was good. It was, it was good. good. What did you get for sixty-two dollars or sixty-two dollars? California was, uh, roll. Two rolls. It was two rolls. It was the uh, edamame. I always so ask for it. The seaweed salad. That was awesome. And I have a, a, a beer and a, a hot sake. I know hot sake is sake considering for it, but I love it. How much is it though? Thirteen bucks? Eighteen bucks? Uh, seventeen. The the. the the little jar, the large one, 17. 17. Uh huh. Or no, or 12. I don't remember. 12 or 10. It was. It was not less than 15. It had to be 15. Yeah. Okay. But unfortunately, if you drink, you have to pay for it. We have. Um, you have lived here for. Two, since 2009, 12, 12 years. 12 years. And, I've been, count, and yeah. I was here from 01 to 09. Talk about the city. Talk about how it's changed. Is the power exchange still around? Power exchange? I think it's still. I, uh, I, power exchange used to be a sex club. It used to be an open sex club. You literally could pay your money and go in and like watch people have orgies. I think it's still <laughs> I think I think it's I, I, think, I think it's around. I mean it's not like a cup of tea or places to go, but uh, I think it's, it's under the bridge. Uh, it and is you know what and you know what I know <laughs> because when I when I was telling you that the uh, the barber shop because my very good friend owns uh, here owns a barber shop yep. uh, in in uh, in the Castro in front of the Castro Theater when they had the protest uh, during the pandemic that Wait 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 the protest? You mean BLM? No, 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 no. No, the, the, when all the small businesses, the barber shops oh. in, 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 in beauty salon mm. went to protest because sex clubs were open. Shut up! Yeah, and I'm Shut telling up. you because I went to I, I, I went to Costco. Can we mention brands or not? Oh yeah, we went to Costco with my friend, yeah. and then we walked because Castle. we were going. What's Castle? Costco. Oh, we went to Costco, which is uh, on, on that area. Yeah. And then we walked, because we were to other shops in in, uh, in downtown. And all the sex, sex shops are on that area. So he stopped and he was start, uh, reading a sign. And I was like, uh, you're not getting in there, right? It's like, and he's, I started looking at his face, pissed off. This is like, they're open. And, that's, and, and then your barber and, wasn't open. And he's like, so I said, he was reading all the regulations to work in, into a sex shop. Yeah. Seriously, on pandemic. And he was like, so we cannot open? We have, we are, we like dentists and like many other services, we have all these sanitary measurements even before pandemic because that's all regulations. Yeah. But a sex shop can what, be open. What is the essential of a sex shop? Huh? What's, the essential, what's the essential that's the section? Keep people happy. With that being said, that is 42 minutes, dude. We went through the whole thing already. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even get into any of our, like, our, we had no, I had notes that we were going to talk about. And we lost everything. Anyways, the food is amazing. The the seat is amazing. The company is amazing. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you very much. The, 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 the food and drink, you can find the links just below. Like, subscribe, share, all that bullshit that you can do. I have had too many buggeries to think about. Um, we are also doing now, if you like the video, try, think about uh, pledging some money towards the video. $1, $5, $10, or $20. Whatever it is, there's a link below that you can send to our, our Venmo. And that money goes right back into the community because we're all about small businesses. Usually I have a big outro on this, but my camera is already telling me that it's already been 42 minutes, dude! We made it? We could have gone we five have, hours. Yeah, and we still have a more margarita to subscribe to this channel. <laughs> Anyways, Oscar, thank you so much for thank that. You, I love it. Thank you.
Guys, we are in America. I am going all around the world. No, actually I'm not. I'm going all around the, the cities. I'm in San Francisco for a little while. Enjoy the video. I will see you guys next time. Drink some avocado. Oh, okay. Cheers. Yeah, but we're gonna the whole thing. Okay. But why did wait? No, you didn't. I did. You didn't. I'm watching you. You do it. Now. Okay. Okay. Don't don't lie to me. Okay. I think I did it. You did. I'll do the last 40 seconds of San Francisco to show you guys what it looks like out there. Ah, oh, that was fun. That was fun. <laughs> that was fun. I, I felt awkward sometimes. time. Because I, I was trying to translate it. No, like, oh, you gotta say cilantro. 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 You gotta say cilantro. And I still don't remember but, what But the abuela with the, with the onions and the, and the habanero <laughs> and, and the cilantro, a little bit of lime and sour. That's so Mexican, dude. Dude. I remember looking at my grandmother, oh, and also my grandfather, uh, her husband, because of